do you have, like, how do you respond to somebody who looks at this and says, wow, we're just scaling up outbound spam of volume and everything else here. And people are going to be all tuned out to it. Those channels are going to go away or that sort of shifting. If everybody says, oh, wow. And eventually this becomes somewhat prolific, right? In terms yeah. of the the volume and, and the cost to access it, that people just tune out to those layers of messaging entirely. Here's what I would say and observe for that. One, I actually think that automation has proliferated this spam inundation, right? Like more does not equal more in most instances. And because it's actually interesting, our, our co-founder, Matt Millen, he was the original CRO at Outreach. So he had a front row seat in the very early days of that business. So like the real challenge that content was becoming to sales professionals, but with great power comes great responsibility. Just because now you can contact 10,000 people in a week does not mean you should contact 10,000 people in a week, right? But because there's, it's hard to permission those systems and it's hard to prevent the human from going rogue in the experience, that in why people have just cranked up the volume yeah. on their outbound channels and have not course corrected the quality of said volume. Now you have something like an agent that actually normalizes those trend lines. One, you're only going to be able to pump the volume through the agent that is respective of your, your domain limits, right? You can't just email a million people or else you're going to get shut down. Yeah. Like we, we don't change that, right? That is a limitation of your provider. But if you do crank up the volume, or at least you maintain the volume, you now are guaranteeing that every single interaction is actually going to be relevant to the buyer. Whether they bite on the message or not, you're not just pumping people with self-fulfilling or, or me-centric content because you're now training these agents to not do that type of behavior. And the second thing I would say is I've been on actually the recipient of some what is soon to be found out AI-generated content, but I didn't care oh, because yeah. they met me where I was. They led with relevancy in terms of who I am in the business and the problems I may be facing and therefore the solution. I would certainly be interested in exploring. And the crazy thing is it got me to a human faster, which is all I want at the end of the day, right? I don't want to be sold to by a robot. So if your robot can get me to the human quicker, I'm going to take that experience as a consumer every single day of the week. I think that's really compelling. It honestly, it, it resonates with me with something like really well targeted, like TikTok, Instagram, any of these mm -hmm. ads where it's just, I know who you are. I know what you're interested in. Here's something that really applies to that. And as a result, you as that end user, you're not sitting through the info commercial that you have no interest exactly. in on whatever mass market thing you're interacting with something you're like okay i'm curious and i'm interested and the speed with which you can connect that interest to someone who can facilitate yes. it is that core sort of uh value provider it's spot on it's the perfect analogy b2b buying should work just like advertising does right it should be able to go as a business you should be able to discover new audiences or look like audiences right you should be able to have something that can put the right content in front of the right person on the right channel and if it doesn't it stops doing it it doesn't spend your money anymore right like yeah. It should function exactly the same. And yet it's, we've been such laggards because of the limitation of the tech in the market to be able to actually provide the buying experience. Buyers today, Connor, like we've all been conditioned by the Netflixes, by the TikToks. Like we, we want our cake and we want it now. Like we actually have come to abhor the sales processes today because they're ineffective, they're wasteful, they're spammy. Like it's just wild how broken it's become comparatively to how we like to buy from a consumer standpoint. So it's, let's try to do more of that and less of this legacy ick factor sales outreach that I think like sales has gotten a bad rap for recently. I, hey, any AI that can say sales, we can get you a better rap instead of we'll just ban people <laughs> faster sounds sounds good That's to me.